All right, you ever meet a girl, right? She loves her husband. She loves him to death. But the dude is ugly. He's ugly. But you know why she loves him? Because he treats her right. You know, he's faithful to her. You know, he makes her feel special. And that's what makes her love his ugly ass. So it's the kind of it's kind of like the same thing with fitness. What's up, y'all? I'm on my way to the gym. I'm meeting with someone who I agreed to do a session with in exchange for helping me proofread and grammatically correct, yeah, grammatically correct the uh, the program that I'm dropping tomorrow, by the way. So the 12-week Simple Body Transformation Jumpstart program will be available tomorrow. Also, another order of business. Amanda, I, I don't, I don't think I should say her last name. I'm mad at you. She bought a meal plan. And in the comment section, she left this heartfelt message about some struggles that she was going through in her life, and she almost made me cry. <sighs> don't do that. I got enough going on in my life. For those of you who don't know, I lived in LA for two years, a few years back. And once I left New York, long story short, I hate the cold. I hate the cold more than anyone hates the cold. And it's now about 30 degrees out here. And I was experiencing what I researched is called seasonal, what is it? Seasonal affective disorder. I've been having all types of symptoms of depression and whatnot. All right, let me zoom this in. Listen, that's some bull I'm not gonna accept that. I'm not depressed. I'm not gonna, I gotta stop telling myself this. Like the narrative that I live with in my head, and this goes for all of us, is what usually dictates our reality. I'm not okay with saying that the weather is making me depressed. I'm not okay with that. I'm not saying that this condition doesn't exist, but me, I'm not gonna accept it. I am a joy seeker. I live every day excited about being happy. And if it's something that exists in my world that doesn't make me happy, or that doesn't bring me joy, I'm going to choose not to accept it. So I am willing myself through it. And this may sound crazy to some folks, I've decided to overexpose myself. I'm gonna overexpose myself to cold. Since being cold is, is, a, is a challenge for me, if that's something that makes my mood go south, then I'm going to overexpose myself to it. So now I'm about to start running in the cold because I need to get over this. I can't allow the temperature to dictate how I feel. That, that doesn't make sense to me, I'm not gonna do it. Not saying again, not saying that it's not a real thing, but that's just not something I'm willing to accept. What kind of sparked this idea in my head I was on a call with one of my online clients this morning, Jason, and he's in Indiana. Like, so right now, it's between 30 and 40 degrees here in Virginia, which isn't that cold, but in my head, it was cold as hell. It's cold. I'd rather be, you know, in Los Angeles or in Florida, 80 degrees. That's, that's, that's my vibe right there, you don't know. He was explaining to me how, where he is, it's right now, it's 12 degrees. And I'm like, bro, I'm complaining about 35 degree weather when there's someone in North Dakota right now dealing with sub zero temperatures. So just that perspective switched something in my head and it made me slap myself in the head like, bro, you're complaining. Like, why are you complaining? Reach for the next thought that's gonna serve you, that's gonna make you feel better. I don't have to wallow in the fact that it's cold here because that's something I can't control. So if, if it's something that I can't control, then I cannot give it the power to affect how I feel. And that's what I'm choosing to do right now. Again, because I know somebody's gonna be talking shit. Depression is real, yes. It could be real for you. But it's not gonna be real for me because I'm not gonna accept it. And I, I noticed as I was doing more research about this seasonal depression, it was making me feel worse. Nah. The fact that in the moment that Jason mentioned that it was 12 degrees, it instantly made me feel better about the 35 degrees here. That means it's all a perspective thing. It's all in my mind. So I am done with this seasonal depression. I'm no longer accepting it. It's over. Anyway, on my way to the gym, we're about to do the last little finishing touches on the program so that I can get it to you guys tomorrow. 
It's one of these kind of days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get off at two. I'm gonna go crawl in the bed and warm up. That sounds good. <laughs> gonna go get in bed. That sounds good. I miss this place. What up, bro? What's up, big fella? How was your Christmas, man? How was your How was, was your holiday? What's up, John? Absolutely. Hi, man. Absolutely. Hi. When I opened it, everything was good, so it's not like. Hey, John, I want to be a cool man like you when I grow up, when I get older, man. I want to be cool with you. Pain that I got? You know what I'm saying? I got those too. Fellas, y'all feel free to use it if you want. What the? Oh, man. <laughs> I never seen one of them jumps. Yeah. This one is uh, 72 pounds. Let me see it. Man. This guy just got a gorilla <laughs> kettlebell. That's kind of dope. Yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. There you go. There you go. I want no parts of this. <laughs> you can have that. All right, so I'm going to be training Timothy. I'm going to be doing like a basic. This is what you need to know in order to get a good workout in with him. Uh, he's helped me out so much, so this is the least I could do to uh, not repay him. We're gonna do a full body workout. So the workout that me and Tim will be doing comes directly from the 12 week Simple Transformation Jumpstart program. Um, I'm releasing this thing tomorrow, so I hope you go get it. Just things to remember when you're doing bench press is you wanna make sure that your feet are planted because once you start moving your feet around, you lose power, right? So you wanna be able to generate the power through your legs, right? And you also want to make sure that you're, uh, I see a lot of people do this, like that. You want to make sure that your, your wrist is kind of parallel with the bar in your arm. So arm, wrist, bar. So that your, your entire arm is supporting the bar and not just your wrist. Then you'll end up with a janky wrist like this. So I like to squeeze my glutes. All right, so keep your feet planted real, real firm, glutes squeeze, and you want to press your uh, upper back against the, uh, against the bench. All right, and the breathing is really important too. So when you lift on your uh, eccentric, which is the downward motion, you want to breathe in and then explode up. The bench press, that was the first exercise we did for upper body. We did some warm up sets. That warmed up your shoulders. Your shoulders are warmed up, so you don't have to do any more real warm up sets for any more of your upper body workouts. Um, so we'll jump right into the working sets. The biggest thing I, I normally see people do it wrong with uh, shoulder press is they do this. So they'll press straight up, and then they'll come down like this. That's what, that's what most people do. You wanna go up. You want to you want to go out and you want to come down like this, out uh, until about parallel, and then press straight back up. But all the while you want to be controlling the weights, like control tempo. So how are you? Yep. Press straight up. Control. And 15 reps. All right. So I just finished the session with Tim. Yo, working with him made me really realize how much I miss personal training. So I'm gonna to talk to the owner of the gym and I think I'm gonna start personal training again. It's kinda of hard because I travel a lot, but I'm gonna figure it out. I wanna start a personal training program right here at the gym downtown. So if you're local, comment below. I may be able to work a free session in there for you. Oh shit. All right, so I literally just walked in the door from the gym. Sheesh, it's freezing outside. My nose was running all crazy. I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about the process of falling in love with exercise. Why am I clapping like a damn seal? When I tell people you have to fall in love with exercise, well, you don't have to, but it helps. People sometimes look at me like I'm crazy, right? But here's the thing. Your life will become better if you try to find a way to enjoy exercise. I'm five years deep in fitness, right? I started working out in 2013. In the beginning, I hated working out. I hated it. I did not enjoy it whatsoever. And it was 100% driven by me wanting to look good and me wanting to be healthy, right? So that's the only reason why I worked out. So now, 
five years later, I've arrived to the point where even if I didn't lose body fat and there was no other type of physical, besides health reasons, of course, if I didn't look better, I still would work out because it makes me feel good. I know that I'm investing into the longevity and the quality of my life. So working out is kind of like, you have to find a way to fall in love with it. So the process starts as, all right, I'm working out because I want to look good and I want to be alive. To, I love working out. My day is not the same without it. So it's like the, a journey to get from here to here, right? So falling in love with working out is kind of like, all right, you ever meet a girl, right? She loves her husband. She loves him to death. But the dude is ugly. He's ugly. But you know why she loves him? Because he treats her right. You know, he's faithful to her. You know, he makes her feel special. And that's what makes her love his ugly ass. So it's, the kind, of, it's kind of like the same thing with fitness. You may not enjoy it, right? But when you really focus on the benefits, and when you focus on how this is going to make you, make your quality of life better, then eventually you learn to love it. For me, the process from hating it to loving it kind of went, all right, so now I'm at the point now where, you know, even when my diet is not 100% on point, I'll still work out because it makes me feel good. Even though I know I'm not losing any weight, even though I know I'm not going to look any leaner in the morning because I'm in a, a extreme caloric surplus, meaning I ate way too much, I still want to work out because it just makes me feel good. So the thing is, you have to, for one, I spoke about this before, redefine, yo, I'm hot as hell. Redefine, oh, excuse me. Shout out to my mother-in-law, she bought me this. It's clutch right now, because I don't have a coat. Um, you have to redefine what you call results, right? A lot of us, we think, Result, when we think results, all we think about is the number on the scale, right? Or we think about us losing weight. But that's not all the results that there is to get from exercise. For one, your self-esteem. For two, your energy levels. For three, your overall health. Your skin clears up. Your eyes clear up. You sleep better. These are all results that you get after the first day in my in my case it was i got all these results the first day so these are the things that if you pay attention to how you're sleeping better how your mood is better and how you're just more productive if you look at if you focus on all these things despite what the scale may be doing then you'll learn to fall in love with fitness because most of the time i mean it's human nature we love things that help us, that make us feel good, that bring us value. But you have to pay attention to the benefits that exercise is giving you, right? And it's not just on the scale. It's not just in the mirror. There's 150,000 other ways that exercise helps you that you can't see on the outside. So if you focus on those non-scale victories, those non-mirror victories, I pointed this way because there's a mirror over there. Oh, I just showed y'all all the crap I had on my dresser. Then slowly, after you're consistent, of course, because there's gonna be a process. In the beginning, you're not gonna love it, so you're gonna have to will yourself. You're gonna have to be more disciplined, right? So now, I mean, there's days where I have to be disciplined and I have to use will to get to the gym, but in, in general, I don't have to will myself to the gym. I enjoy it. It's a privilege for me to be able to work out. It, it allows me to appreciate the fact that I have limbs. I'm, I have a healthy body. There's someone right now you know, who, let's just, I'm not going to go extreme and say a wheelchair. There's somebody right now who sprained their ankle and they wish that they can go run on a, on a treadmill right now, you know, but we don't think about that stuff. We take our bodies for granted. I'm not going to start preaching. I'm going to end the video right now. Please leave this video a thumbs up. Tomorrow, the 12 week simple body transformation program will be available. I am dropping the video tomorrow. Damn, I just got a bug in my eye and there's no bugs in here. Make sure you get that, bricksfitness.com. Shout out to everybody who's been purchasing meal plans. I appreciate you guys. You guys keep me really busy, but I appreciate it. And as always, guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.